KTM just introduced the new models for cross country and everything is completely new. I talked about this new changes last year. They are no longer transfer port injection. They are now throttle body injection. Whether it is good or bad, we will talk about that in the video. So stay tuned until the end of video. What do you say about the new look of the KTM? At first, I didn't like it, but the more I look at it, the more beautiful it becomes. But I have to be honest, to me appearance is not as important as how a motorcycle behaves while riding. Let's get to the important topics. The most important change on this model is the fuel injection system. There is no more oil pump needed, as you can use the Premix in your tank. Cahan throttle body features advanced EFI technology for immediate throttle response and easy using. The cylinder has got electronic control of the exhaust port. The characteristics of the engine have been improved. The control of the motorcycle is easier to ride. The power valve always works perfectly because it uses an automatic calibration system. Also, two riding maps control this part, but we'll talk about that soon. Premix fuel with electronic fuel injection is the technology we all wanted. Thank you Kayan for using the technology from 4 strokes to improve 2 strokes. The response will be precise and gentle at the same time and more power than on previous models. That's what we all need. KTM is trying to reduce vibrations. They added a new balancer shaft that will reduce even more vibrations than in previous years. We have to emphasize that KTM is a step ahead of its competition in terms of vibration so this is a win-win combination. The new crankshaft design has reduced weight. The engine improves throttle responses and it will make the lighter feel of motorcycle riding. The combination of crankshaft, electric power valve and new fuel injection system will completely change the feeling of riding the bike compared to older KTM models. Exhaust has got more ground clearance, which is really important in hard enduro riding. Everything is completely new on this motorcycle, even the exhaust. The DS clutch has shown its quality. KTM has made a small change to clutch. You can expect quality as years before. No matter how difficult the conditions are in the woods, you will have complete control over the bike, all thanks to the new chassis design which is very agile and manageable. This year they have improved the better traction on the ground when you get out of the corners and the design of the foot peg will allow you to easily master deep ruts. The new subframe has saved us some weight of the bike, as this is a good move from KTM. What do you think? I don't want to talk much about the suspension, a very positive thing that you can adjust everything on the track with your hand and you don't need tools. You want a little more compression on the back, just turn the clicker by hand. A very positive step from KTM and this makes me happy. I am happy with the fact that they have improved some things. They have solved the problem with the hoses from the radiators. Now the outlet of the radiator is curved upwards, which means that in a crash you will no longer damage the hose from the radiator. This is a very important thing for hard enduro riders, because I know many of them who have had this problem. The map switch comes on all models. You have the option to choose between two mapping. Map 1 is a linear power that is easy to ride in hard enduro. While map 2 gives a lot of power which is a little harder to control but it's great for open racing. Of course there are good and bad things about this new design. Not everything can be perfect and some people will prefer the old model and some the new one. It is simply so. The good thing is that the new fuel injection system allows you to use a Premix, which is safer because you mix oil and fuel by yourself and you know for sure that the oil pump will not fail and cause you a big damage in the engine. One very good thing is that on this model you have holes at side, where you can put your hand, grab the bike and lift it. It looks very good for hard enduro. I don't want to be too negative person, but since I have a lot of experience on Sherco, he had an electronic power valve, it feels like you're not riding two strokes. I just lose that feeling because the power of the engine becomes too linear and artificial and somehow that feeling is fake to me. It's like driving a three-stroke engine something between two-stroke and four-stroke. I would prefer the old design, where with the tool you can manually adjust the power valve. As for TBI against TPI, I think every fuel injection system has its advantages. I don't think the new system is better in all things, but we can only speculate about that. Because KTM if he could have made a TBI fuel injection system to work perfectly a couple of years ago TPI would never have published. So you can expect both, problems and good things from the new model. I will make a more extensive video about it soon. Thank you for watching. What do you think about the new model? Comment below the video.